Spelling. My question is, why is the Confederate battle flag perceived differently from the US in Europe or Germany, especially Germany? The research question came up after I finished my bachelor's and I needed to find a contemporary topic than the Civil War. So while I was looking, I stumbled across this one. It's an image, a mass gathering at the Berlin Wall in the eastern part of Germany. And up here in the corner, you see that Confederate flag. And it was literally, what, what is that doing here? So I started my research, and as we all know, since 2015, it has been appeared in our current discussions again. Here in the United States, the flag ends usually from something like this into something like this. Ends with arrests, with public outcry, with letters to the editor, newspaper covering. In Germany, however, it comes up in country music festivals. Cars are decked out, the flag is flown freely. This is a fair in Geiselwind in Germany that was about in 2008. Then the next one here is a Western Games occurrence in Italy, 2005. They sell that as memorabilia, Americana, the whole feeling, everything that comes from America is great and fantastic. <laughs> here we have a couple of images that I put together in Ireland. It is flown. They have a different history because around the same time in the 1860s, there was a conflict be between North and South that was almost similar. It was the more industrialized North with the more rural South. And the same was in Italy around the same time. Italian soccer fans fly it purely for resistance, I guess. And here up in France at a country music festival, in Russia at a rock music festival. And here pop and culture in Americana, in fashion it pops up, in music there was a big discussion about the music scene where Kid Rock freely says, I'm keeping it, and Alabama or bands like Leonard Skinner said, okay, gonna take it out. Even Pantera doesn't sell merchandise with it anymore. Film and TV, this is the stuff that came to us in Europe in the 60s and 70s, Smokey and the Bandit movies, the Dukes of Hazard, of course, the most popular one, I would say. So what I decided to look at was, is the education maybe differently? Over here in the United States, it is taught with civil rights, slavery first in the forefront. In Europe, especially in Germany and in France and the eastern part of Germany, it was more emphasized the state's rights, the less government, the sticking it to the man type of thing, you know. We don't need big government to do what we want to do. So it was a significant difference in the education system. And in the 1980s, Eastern Germany was more related to Russia and communism, so they didn't get any education on the Civil War at all. And I started interviewing family members and friends, and uh, they all confirmed that in the 1980s, 90s, there was virtually no education on America in the Eastern part of Germany at all, because it was capitalistic and therefore not important. So in conclusion, these are all the references that I used, but it appears to me that the biggest issue is it is perceived differently in Germany and in Europe because of the educational system at the time that was vastly different. And I think if we put that into the equation, how people are educated, how different they perceive something, it comes up from education, what family values you have, and so we can understand each other maybe a little bit better. Thank you.